Okay, when I move the penguin with the mouse, it's confined to the ground. Now, what if I want to uh, do other things to it? Okay, if I hold down the shift key and then uh, click and drag the penguin, I can move it up and down vertically. In fact, if I go down, I'll lodge it in the ground. So that's that's how you elevate things. And there there's no gravity on this world. If you want gravity, you have to supply it in programming. So if I lift the penguin into the air and let it go, it's just going to stay there. So let's undo. Undo is particularly useful when you're positioning things because if you make a mistake and you want to go back precisely to where you were, you want to use undo and not try to position it by eye. Okay, the next shift key is control and if you hold down control and then click and drag you will spin an object. So I'm moving the mouse from left to right now even though you can't see it and that's uh, turning the penguin and now we'll click undo to reposition it. But the control and shift keys were kind of shortcuts. Up here we have a series of buttons that explicitly affect how the mouse treats an object. So right now we're in cursor mode which drags the object along the ground. If we click this one, it says move obje objects up and down, we have the mouse in a mode that is the same thing as if we'd used the uh, control key. Let's reposition now. And if we click this button, then we have the same I'm sorry, up and down is the shift key. And if we uh, click on this one, which turns object or, or spins them, then that's like using the control key. Those are identical. Okay, undo. Now this button turns objects forwards and backwards. And let's see how that works. Okay, and the, the forwards and backwards is with respect to your viewpoint and not to the object. So you can see that the wireframe is slightly skewed with respect to the way I'm tipping things. Okay, so undo to reposition again. Now this one tumbles objects and that's a little more complicated. Uh, here, I'm, uh, if I move the mouse left and right, it spins it. It's a combination of spin and tip, okay? So now I have the penguin facing me. I can tip it forwards and backwards. I move the mouse left to right to turn it. And now if I move the mouse uh, up and down, I tip it in this direction. So this is always with regard to your, your viewpoint. And this is a particularly, whoops, I don't really need to save right now. This is a particularly messy operation, so you definitely want to have undo ready to, to fix things if you mess them up. And remember that undo is multiple levels. Um, one thing about undo that can be good or bad is that it will apply to uh, anything you do. So if you're messing around with your settings, and not just the position of objects. If you want to use undo on placement, you ha may have to undo some settings that you've done uh, on the way back. So it helps to keep in mind what mode you're operating in, whether you're positioning things or whether you're affecting settings because undo affects all those operations indiscriminately. Okay, next button. This is the sizing button. And if I click on this and slide the mouse up and down, um, that resizes the penguin. And here in particular, undo is useful because uh, it's kind of hard to get a precise size by eyeball if you don't like what you did. So we'll undo here. And finally, we have the copy button. And if we click and drag, 
we make a copy of the penguin and that's pretty straightforward. Okay, I think this is a natural breaking point, so I'm going to uh, call this the end of this segment and we'll look at some more positioning techniques in the next video. So you can go on to that or you can just stop here and practice some of the things you've learned.